Again, I don't want anyone to do batting practice. I hate batting practice. It's a waste of everyone's time. You got one kid hitting and ten people standing around. You have ten people doing this. Okay, ten swings real quickly. Okay, you get the point, right? Then you can have wiffle balls. You can have a hitter here, hitter here, and a hitter there. So you can have three guys hitting wiffle balls at the same time in close proximity. I'm not even having wiffle balls, but... And you can have three guys hitting here, so that's six, and then six over there, that's 12. So we get, everyone's getting 100 swings instead of one guy getting 10. Okay, all right? Birdies, love this drill. You don't want to hit wiffle balls? Hit these things. They float like a knuckleball. You got to stay back on this one. Okay? They don't go very far. You don't need a whole lot of room to do it. We do this drill in the hallway at school. Then when the principal comes, we put it away real quick. <laughs> but it's a great drill. It doesn't take any space at all. You can do this between innings. If you have these in your bag, and you got a kid sitting on the bench, and he's not doing anything but you know, twiddling his thumbs, hey, let's go hit some birdies. It doesn't take any space at all. You can throw them hard, you can throw them soft. And the softer you throw them, actually, the harder it is. Because they float like a, like a filthy throw knuckleball, you know. You gotta stay on it. Alright? That's a great drill. Okay? The whole key is stay away from the batting practice model. Don't do it. Don't do it. Use these, throw the ball, play soft toss. Okay? 